All right, Natalie, you're going to hear two competing sentences, and one of those sentences will contain the name Baron. When you hear the sentence with Baron, I want you to repeat the color and the number that come after Baron. Okay. All right, ready to go? Yep. Ready, Baron, go to green two now. Blue five. Ready, Baron, go to red two now. Red eight. Yes, this project that we were just demonstrating is a project to uh, examine the cues that people with hearing loss use to separate out a speech uh, from another signal that consists of speech of another talker. So, for example, we know that people with normal hearing can use voice pitch. For example, a male talker can be easily understood from a female talker. So we're trying to learn the extent to which people with hearing loss can use these cues with the hope that we would be able to exploit these cues using some kind of signal processing to make better hearing aids. In the audiology program, we're extremely involved with students, but all of our audiology students are clinical doctoral students. We have an AUD program, which is a clinical professional degree at the doctoral level. In fact, we're the only program in California with this degree. So, and our students are very involved in research. They're required to do uh, two research projects uh, during the course of their program. Ready, Hopper, go to red one now. Red seven. Ready, Ready Baron, go, go to blue five, five now. now. Blue five. It, what we want to do with this research next is use what we've learned about talker segregation and the cues people with hearing loss can use and push that forward into the technology arena. So we're planning to collaborate with a group of other scientists, including speech and hearing science, uh, engineering, and a mathematician um, from other uh, California universities to try to develop a, a means of separating different sources of sound through signal processing with the hope that we can build a better hearing aid.